Hey guys, so I just wanted to show off my new button plate that I got from AliExpress. I finally got this bad boy all uh, all screwed together and everything. Um, so yeah, this was about uh, 220 Canadian, so that would be a, a little bit less uh, US. Um, really good value for the money. The front is a carbon fiber and uh, the back as well. I'll just show you here. As you can see, it's uh, it's really well, nicely put together. Um, the shifters are magnetic. And uh, it's a nice, a nice click, I have to say. Um, I've tested for a few days and uh, I've been pretty impressed with the shifters. Haven't had a single issue. Um, on the front, or several several buttons you've got these kind of squishy push buttons that do the job I mean they're not anything too magnificent but uh, they all work they all function good um, then you've got kind of a, um, a rotary here and this actually is um, a function so if you switch this say to this knob then this becomes another two-way switch if you switch this another another two-way switch so this goes all around so you've got quite a lot of inputs um, the only downside is you have to you have to just switch this and then switch this so it's um, like if you want to do brake bias you know you can have this uh, set here and then do that and then if you want to have like uh, you know tear the windshield wipe um, off you know you could set it to that and then tire it off but then you'd have to go back to your brake bias to adjust so um a lot of functions but um you know you kind of do have to to move around and dial it back and you've also got these uh these little thumb things here and there's no sort of pronounced little click or anything they just kind of turn but they work um you know you can use this for for what if you whatever you want DRS or uh, other adjustments, um, and you've got these switches here. The only button out of this whole thing that is not functioning correctly is this one. For some reason, this button maps to this guy as well. So, no big deal, right? For the price, who cares? It's one one little button our flippy thing um yeah so that's it so i've got i also ordered this rim from aliexpress it's a 300 mil um being pretty happy with it i've just done some uh super formula races with it had some good results um on the back as you can see this is still a qr1 and I've used an SRM adapter. Now you need one of these guys to run with Fanatec, right? Um, with other bases, you can just use, you know, a standard QR. You know, if you're using Moza or um, Simagic, um, or, you know, a bunch of others. But with Fanatec, Fanatec, you need uh, something that emulates a Fanatec wheel. So you gotta get this, uh, SRM adapter and uh, it was pretty straightforward to use you just got to bolt it on the back here and then the quick release bolts to the SRM and then um, in software Fanatec thinks this is a, a carbon formula wheel and it works perfectly um, and then there is a USB uh, cable here so you got to run this with the cable and it comes with the cables and everything so you're good to go and then from there, you can uh, basically bolt on any wheel you like. And this is the uh, 70 mil uh, bolt pattern. So yeah, I'll be getting some some more rims from time to time and, and messing around. But uh, yeah, I've been pretty impressed with it. It's my first button plate uh, wheel putting together. And you know, I, I didn't want to just buy all Fanatec stuff. And I know the new QR is coming out and... I just figured for myself, you know, like just trying to buy a QR here in Canada, 
uh, from Fanatec is like a ridiculous amount of money when you factor in the conversion, um, the taxes, then the shipping fee, and then the uh, import fee on top of that. So it's like, I'm going to stick with the QR1. Um, I actually got this one on sale because everybody is selling them now. So, you know, for cheap. So that's the way I'm going to roll. And um, if I ever get a new base again, Fanatec or get one for my son, it'll come with the QR2. But um, I'm going to stick with this. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll share the link for the, the button plate on my YouTube. Okay, thanks guys.